I'm Taylor Craig. I'm Ryan Keelan. I'm Alex Suisa. Welcome to another episode of Pucking Panthers Podcast. We don't give a puck. We had our first injury of the year, and that goes to Barkov, which he, he sustained a hand injury. He's out on the top line. He's going to be out two to three weeks, I think they said. Two to four weeks. I, they changed it to three to four weeks just recently. Three to, to four be weeks. Safe, I guess. Yeah, I guess. Originally, it was two to four. To diminish expectations, because everyone's like, oh, look, he's back in two weeks. I don't know. That'd be kind of tough. I, I, it's going to be a month. Hands. It's going to be a month. I think it might even be... I think we'll see him back in December. His presence missed. Uh, yeah. Because, you know, he, I think he was our best forward. Besides, maybe besides Yager, but honestly, two-way. I think he I'm, was our best forward of the year. I'm going to say, I'm going to completely agree with what Yager said. He is our absolute best player. I think Barkov is the best player on yeah, this team. I agree. Other than Luongo, Luongo is obviously just Luongo. He carries right, yeah. the team. He Luongo carries the team, but he's the goalie. Barkov is the best player on our team. Yeah, he's going to be he's gonna be really missed. And now we put Bukestad in place of Barkov. On that mm-hmm. top line now, like then that. he was with Huberto. I like that, you do. Yeah. You now he's with Huberto and Yager for about twenty seconds, <laughs> and, then, really and then Yager got hurt, and now we have two of our top line guys out. And we we recently saw, uh, you know, how, how that, much that hurts. Yeah, it does hurt because we because we just watched the last game against Boston. We uh, we kind of got taken to the mill there. I think Montoya is playing great, and the uh, the fact I, I think what happened last year was that he just wasn't getting many starts, and he just wasn't having enough reps. This year, I think we should put him out a lot more, and I think he's going to start playing better as a result. The thing is, is that last year, I remember the first couple of games that yeah, Montoya played, played, he played did well. amazing. Yeah. And, every, and I, I remember specifically because I was tweeting, wow, it's amazing that we have two yeah. great Star. goalies, two starters basically, and then Montoya just, boop, yeah. during the rest of the season. He, he's going to have to play more because you need to take a load off Luongo because yeah. he's on his back every night. He, he literally he is. He <laughs> yeah, literally is on his back. I know he had. I know Dallas is, can score, but this is another test for Montoya. Let's see how he holds up against Washington, because Washington, can yeah, keep puck in the net. Yeah, we're we're recording this before Washington, actually, the day of the game. But uh, this is the final score of the Washington game. Um, great effort from everyone involved. <laughs> Good game. Or bad effort from everyone involved. <laughs> terrible, terrible. We game. don't know what the magical score says yet, so we can't make a pinpoint on the prediction. <laughs> this. It's unacceptable. <laughs> one of the, this one of the is very three. acceptable. <laughs> Show some heart. So quick start, tear them apart. That's the key <laughs> of the game. Okay, I dig it. The Dallas game was, was really great. Uh, I think you saw you saw everyone score too. Even Dave Bolin got on the board. A, a broken clock is right twice a day. Ekblad finally had his first goal. Ekblad got his first goal. This is a great play. Yeah. Uh, I thought it was great effort overall. And then we come right back with Colorado and put up a four-one victory. I thought it was great too. We we're banging on all four cylinders. Vincent Trocek stepped up. He played a great game. I don't care who's on this team. For some reason, when you play for the Florida Panthers, if you have one big win or you have two wins in a row, or even if you get to that three wins in a row, all of a sudden, this team feels like they are the big man on campus. unstoppable, and yep. they are the best thing in the world, and then they come out and play the most cutesy little, oh, we're superstar game in the yeah. world, and you just can't win. Yeah. And they, they look so bad out there, and they can't complete a pass because they're trying so hard to be cute. A good example was against Boston, Jokinen. What was he thinking back passing it to oh, Bill yeah. on the power play? Oh, yeah. Gallant keeps putting them out there and keeps trusting them when you have people like Riley Smith and Vincent Trocek that should be on that first power play unit. And that first power play unit should be out there more than 30 seconds. Mm-hmm. That's that's what I have to say about that. I know that we have to fill in for Yager and Markov, but you shouldn't put out your best players, your best players for only thirty seconds on the power play, and play them with Jokinen and Boland. Well, you brought up a few good points. One of them being that the fact that the locker room gets really high on itself after one or two wins, um, and the fact that we can't string together a bunch of wins. Remember, remember what they said after the first game of the season, where they they won seven uh, one. And then everyone in the locker room was like, was like, all right, we we need to we need to string together a couple wins because you know we're not just winning one. Even Yager after that game, he was like, I don't even care. He's yeah. like, I don't care about this. Stop I asking think, me about I this. I think game. he looked like he was he looks like he was worried that 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 they were getting too high on themselves. The that's fans the do that a lot on Twitter, no. but the that's fans a, can do that. Fans. Who cares about that's the fans? That's the fans. players should not be doing that. And then you play probably. I mean, I know you might laugh. Some people might laugh, but. Boston, even 10 games into the season, is a huge game mm-hmm. for the long run. It We're is. going to be fighting Boston. 
against Boston, that was a huge game in my opinion. I think playing Boston is definitely because they are a division rival. Well, Tuka Rask was, was ridiculous. Yeah, well, yeah, Tuka made Tuka Rask. Like three really good, amazing saves. Yeah, yeah. he was, was one on Huberto where he stacked the pads and oh. just snagged it. That was ridiculous. The, the, and then the Huberto had it. Smith had an amazing. Smith was just. He was like, yeah, he had, he had a dead, yeah. like, totally. <laughs> objective to get a goal against Boston. Yeah. And I'm just happy that Jimmy Hayes got nothing against Yeah, guys. I know. As long as I was happens. expecting, like, a hat trick or something. <laughs> but for the cocky thing, the fans are obviously going to always be cocky. You know, it's a, they're sports fans. But the cockiness for the players starts with Gallant. And then it goes down to Willie Mitchell to get them back to earth. They played all right, but like yeah. Tuca, Tuca did is the reason Boston won that game. Another big play that happened in Boston is the check uh, from, by Marshawn on Kulikov. From and behind. From behind into the boards, Kulikov broke his nose. There was a lot of blood on the ice too. Uh, it was pretty gruesome. Um, and you know, Marshawn, I've never liked Marshawn, so you have to understand there's a bias here, but he absolutely should be suspended. But he, it looks like the NHL isn't going to take any action against him. The, the thing that, that could have been very, that could have been way worse than a broken nose. What he did though, was he did it with two minutes left and the Panthers pulled their goalie. So they can't fight. Why would they, well, Sean Thornton can't come on the ice and exactly. retaliate. That's what, that's the bad part about that. Mostly. It, he, exactly. he, he, whatever, he's a dirty, he's been a dirty player. Yeah. He, whatever, but like he can't even retain. Yeah. He's gonna have to know next time. Yeah, you know, have to you know up. the next Boston game. Sure, Sean Thornton, Thornton ten plays and hit him. Whatever yeah. next Boston game, whatever. But like, but do you think oh, Sean yeah. Thornton's actually gonna fight against no. his old team because he hasn't? I mean, I don't. Know. He will. I, I think he uh, will. I think he will take somebody. Yeah, to, somebody has to. Uh, I think Gabranson will be the one to step up because he's the one that he's the one that uh, is, that used to be paired with Kulikov. Cool I don't think Marshawn would ever fight. No, yeah, that's no. That's why you throw him around like a rag doll. Yeah, that's the only thing that bothered me was he. He did it with two minutes left. He's yeah. he's dirty. People, they're grown yeah. men with testosterone. They're running. It's yeah. you know they're gonna. People are gonna do that. Yeah. And whatever. The, Any, the Panthers will do that. Any team will do that. Yeah. But, but the consensus Marshawn, is Marshawn it had to be Mark, Yeah. It had to be him. Yeah. It had to be with two minutes left when we needed two goals. Yeah. That's why no one could retaliate. Hurting like, my boy Kulikov like that. I'm, I'm not gonna stand. I know. I'll get out there. <laughs> I'll get out there and I'll be like, listen. I will get on the ice with him. Listen, listen real quick. I listen. don't appreciate that. I will go at him, and then hopefully someone else comes in and helps me out. <laughs> From watching our power play so far, I, I'm actually changed my view. I, I, I think I'm more in favor of two defensemen back there. The forwards we put out there to have four forwards, yeah. I, they're not defensively great players, and they're not offensively great I, players. Why don't you put? I'd say you put the top two units. You put Campbell and Ekblad, and then you put Petrovic and Kulikov. Not only to have the defense back there, but those guys can can get the puck on net. Yeah, I, don't, I like the four. I, I think we're having a little Forwards. bit bad taste in our mouth right now from the last couple of games watching our power play because it's very, very clear that we're missing Yager and Barkov. They're huge on the power play. I yeah. think they're huge. And when they're there, when huge. Barkov and Yager are there, you can have the one defenseman up there. Probably, yeah, it's yeah. very, it, they cycle the puck. Barkov and Yager are so good at cycling the puck. And you can see how our passes are not as great and cycling is not as great in the offensive Vision. zone without Yager and Barkov. Yep. See, That's why I like Barkov a lot. Because I like four forwards out there. I think okay. it's a lot more efficient. It's just yeah. Tuka, we could have had so many I think I think a couple more goals last night. If I, I don't know how we got robbed. If I were Gallant, I would I would do the three forwards, two defensemen, but as you said, I would say for now until, until Yager and Barkov. Yeah, yeah until both of them are back. Barkov of course. Yeah, when Barkov comes, comes back, that's when you want to back. Yeah. Yeah. For the top three pucking goal of the week, I'm gonna give it to Ekblad. Right. I think everyone could agree. It was Ekblad's first of the season. If you watch it, Yager just coming up a great pass to Bukes wow, that just presence. sees. Look at Bukes that seeing Ekblad like, putting yeah. in and the perfect shot yeah. right there, Ekblad, right in the corner. Quick release too. Ekblad wasted mm -hmm. no time. So the second goal of the week definitely goes to Brian Campbell for his uh, shoddy. Yeah, at least we didn't have to <laughs> wait till like the end of the season. Yeah, shoddy. <laughs> if you watch Riley Smith, that I just I love that yeah. pass. Such uh, a nice pass. And he goes bar down, and that's just gorgeous. Our number one fucking goal goes to. Of the week goes to Vincent Trocheck. Okay, I like it. Uh, against which Dallas, goal? against Dallas, against right? Dallas, against yeah. Colorado, Colorado. <laughs> <laughs> All Kind of dropping it off for Brian Kelly. Right. Campbell, Campbell, is great pass from this. Campbell passes the Trocheck. Trocek Boom! Trocheck makes the move and shoots. Trocheck yourself before you wreck yourself. Trocheck scores. <laughs> oh. <laughs> we got a new beard picture from Luke Vader. Luke. And, and 
he's making some progress. Let's look, let's just put it up here. It's probably covering my face right now, but you know, it's uh, it's it's looking pretty good. His beard is actually looking close. Scruffy. Wait, it is. It is looking close. Wait, whose beard is it? That's Luke Vader. Luke. For the Pucky Panthers podcast, I'm Taylor. I'm Ryan. I'm Alex. And we'll see you again next week.